Hey guys, I have a quick DIY winter themed candle holder to make with you today. So let's get started and check it out. Here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Check out today's craft. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So here I've gathered most of what I'm going to be using. I have a baby food jar. I'm gonna to need to remove this label. I have a little tree. It's a bottle brush tree and it's from the Dollar Tree. They have green or white. I just like the white. I have some fake snow here and I have two different types. I have this like flaky, it's a little bit more realistic looking one that you can get from Hobby Lobby or these tiny little balls that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm probably going to be using my chalkboard paint. It's just very black. But there's also options like black folk art paint and different ones like this. And you can get these for like 50 cents at Walmart. So that's what we're going to be using today. What I'm going to do to get started is I'm first just going to take the lid off. I want to paint that black, but I really want to get this removed. So I'm going to remove that. If I need to use some Goo Gone or something to get the excess removed, I'll do that. But those are probably going to be my beginning steps. I want that to dry so I can do a couple layers and I want the stickiness off. So... All right, to wash. I am going to end up painting this entire thing. So I'm gonna start with painting this way and I'm gonna let it set. Then once it's dry, we'll do a couple coats and do the inside. So I've been imagining this project and how it will turn out for a while now. So I'm really anxious to actually give it a try and see how it does turn out. I was able to get my jar all clean with just a little bit of soap and hot water. That's ready to go. I'm gonna do another layer of black on here. And then what I'm going to work on doing is trimming down this tree. Basically, I want it to fit inside of here, so you can see that's definitely too big. So I want to go ahead and trim it down. Probably going to go ahead and cut it and try and pull it out of here or cut it out of there, and then I'll seal it back in. You'll see. Here we go. I'd rather start too big and go smaller than start too small and not have enough. That will be adorable. I was able to just pull that right out. So now we'll replace it with ours. Just a little dot of hot glue right where that wire is going to go. So here's our new little tree. I took the part we trimmed off at the top and I hot glued it and pushed it into the little hole of the bottom part. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some E6000 and hot glue. I'm going to put it on the very bottom and then I'm going to press it down to the bottom of the jar. So it's going to end up standing like this-ish. I'm going to try not to get too much on there just because I don't want um, it gushing out. But I do want enough to be able to hold it. Now I'm going to try and center it as much as possible, but it's kind of hard from this angle. Okay, give it a second to set and dry. After probably a couple hours, I'll come back and continue working with it because I want to give that E6000 some time to dry. All right, guys, so real super duper quick, we're going to try and finish this up. Two coats of um, the chalk paint on both sides, but remember you can use any black paint you like. I would cover it with a um, seal of Mod Podge, and what I'm going to do is take the fake snow, and I'm just going to dump a little bit in here. I don't really know how much I want yet, so we're going to kind of have to play. That looks about right to me because it covers that, like, piece that holds the tree in. And I had these cute little... These are also from the Dollar Tree. This is just a section of them. And they're little pearls that come in different sizes. They're little stickers. And I thought that would be really cute if you wanted to put them, like, around the outside and have it look like snow is falling all the time. I'm not going to do that this time just because the whites are a little bit off and I don't want that to be super noticeable because I'm super picky. So the last thing I need to do is I'm just going to put on this rim, I'm going to put a little bit of E6000, not too much because I don't want it to goop too much, and then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue so it secures it right away and I'm going to go ahead and put that on top. So, let's do it. You want to start with your E6000 because it does not take as long to dry, but your um, 
Your hot glue is gonna obviously dry a lot faster. Also, your hot glue is gonna dry a lot faster on a cold surface like a glass or, um, what are those, oh, a terracotta pot. On glass or terracotta pot, it's gonna dry a lot faster, so you just wanna be careful. My hot glue doesn't quite reach as far as I would like it to, so I'm going to move it over here real quick. And then quite quickly, I'm going to measure and stick. Now I want to give this just a little time to set so that we don't lose our lid. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone for a second, but one thing I'm not going to do that is totally optional, obviously, is you could wrap twine and a bell around this um, area where this lid would typically screw on or anything like that and it'd be a really cute little decoration. Like I said, you can put stickers around the outside, you can wrap the twine around here, anything like that. But we'll come take a final look in just a minute. All right guys, here's a final look at our project. Now that it's all finished and I've looked at it with a candle and everything, I think right here I would like to put some ribbon. But let me know what you added to yours. I'm really liking it. I think it looks super cute with this tea light candle on top. It looked Ooh. really cute with the smaller um, little candles in the dish. I can't think of what they're called. Anyhow, I love this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to do another craft next Sunday. And until then, bye-bye.